What it do, folk? I'm back in the lab trying to get another one in. Oh, uh, today we're gonna do some unboxing of some toys. I got my neck and my ears on fro, wrist to be covered in gold. Ain't All right, y'all. So, first, I kind of opened this one already, but it doesn't matter. I have my Intellitronics, Intelligent Electronics. It is a digital dash for my 88, my 89 Chevrolet C1500 truck. It is the white digital dash. And I'm gonna be doing a little unboxing here. Show y'all what's um, in the box, what comes in the box. If you are thinking about ordering one of these, part number at Summit is DP6005W. Y'all women who like cars, y'all boyfriends, whatever like cars. And y'all always say, why stuff at Summit so high? It's not, baby. We love this. This is this is cheap. I like that. A lifetime guarantee. I like that. Ease of mind made in America. It should be the digital circuit board, acrylic lens, a temperature sending unit, and a pressure sending unit. So I'll tell you how to hook up everything to get it to work with my vehicle. So in this bag here, we have the black wire. We have the oil pressure center unit here. And this is the water temperature sensor here and the wiring for that unit. So that comes in the bag. Now this unit isn't what you see here. It's just a digital circuit board right here that you retrofit to your current unit. Oh, uh, this is wrapped up bubble wrap. Um, that's the acrylic smoke lens that goes in and this is the circuit board in here i'm not going to open it until it's time to install but i did go ahead and order it uh but that includes all the pieces so the acrylic board water temperature sending unit and wires oil pressure sending unit and wires and the circuit board so my harmonic balancer part number issue mc2501 Oh, the one that's on the engine is um, the original one. It's old, um, some of the seals, the epoxy seals and stuff like that. Uh, it's starting to crack and I like, I would like to change it and uh, make sure my belt, make sure it doesn't squeak or anything like that. If you know how a bad harmonic balance of sound, then you know the sound I'm talking about. But, this is that. It's not a underdrive one. It's not like the 25% underdrive. I did not want to get one of those because I've seen a lot of people talking about um, charging issues and um, it's not charging your alternate all the way or it might be robbing you of power to charge that alternator. So, I went with a regular size one, not the underdrive one or overdrive one either. I didn't want to have one that's too big. Um, I'm hoping this is the right one and, and it won't knock or uh, hit anything on that frame in that truck. I went with a new flywheel flex plate. This is a ATP part number Z270. 163 tooth, I believe. Flywheel, replacing the original equipment. Holly Terminator X 
Max. So I'm definitely not going to open this because it's electronic. So I'm not going to open it yet. Um, I know Summit will return within a certain amount of days, whatever, but I, I won't open that yet. Uh, just in case I have any problems, I did get the 24X reluctor wheel, blah, 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 match directly to that motor. But I heard the 58X is better as far as accuracy or something like that. So I will look into swapping to the 58X for like a kid for Christmas. I have in this box a throttle body, timer cover, and a valley pan cover. This is my Fitec fuel injection throttle body. It's a 102 millimeter throttle body, part number 70062. Uh, so my intake manifold, everything that I ordered, I ordered separately. Uh, Everything, the one that I ordered originally, the summit one, was on back order. And it was on back order until April 4th or something like that. So I did go ahead and swap out that and got this one. And I should have everything by March 2nd. And today is the 16th. So at first glance, this Fitec thought about it, is freaking huge. So it's 102 millimeter. Oh, I don't see any scratches or anything, any imperfections in it. Oh, it didn't come with any gaskets or anything. It came with screws and washers, but it has a throttle position sensor and mass airflow, I believe. It does come with those two sensors. So, TPS and a MAF, I believe, mass airflow. Uh, this is a drive-by cable unit. 102 mil. I guess if I wanted to tap in or put something there, I could. Um, maybe nitrous. Hmm. A good well, maybe the nitrous or a vacuum port maybe all right so that's it for this five tick all right and my valley cover i bought the ict billet valley pan cover uh it does have instructions inside it does have the screws for installation and it tells you how to install. I have a little ruler here. I guess so you can measure maybe screws or something. You can measure something out with it. But it looks fine. I don't see anything wrong with it. ICT billet valley cover. I get a powder coat before I put it on my engine. Um, just because I want to powder coat a few things. But that's a nice product, no imperfections, I like it. Then I have here my Chevy LS timing cover without the cam sensor. Um, I think the cam sensor on my 2004 6.0 was, it wasn't in the timing cover, it was located elsewhere. On that 5.3 I got, it did have the cam sensor and the timer cover. So when I do build that one, I'm gonna need to do that. Nothing wrong with those. I don't see any imperfections so far. And I think it's a two piece cover. I think that's why I ordered it too. Cause I like the design that I seen. And yeah. All right, so it's a two piece. <laughs> It's a two-piece cover, so you can take these screws off here if you have to check it out. It's lightweight. I thought it was um, I thought it was gonna be heavier. I thought it was gonna be K 
cast iron or something. But I guess it's aluminum. Um, just a little imperfection there on a powder coat. Um, I do have to put the gasket there. The seal. Um, I do plan on getting this powder coated too. Maybe I should have got the polished one. I shouldn't have got the one that was already coated. This is what I've been waiting for. I'm clean the table up for this. High volume if you're not running a bigger pan and um, you don't, I mean, high pressure is really debatable. Uh, but I've seen Low Life Yonke's uh, do some modifications to his stock oil pump and made it where it could uh, be a high pressure oil pump in a sense. Uh, I'll put his link below. But some oil pump, two flywheel bolts, and an oil pan stud kit. Canton Racing. What I came for, you know why I'm here. Let me get the knife. Change engine oil. Turbocharger installation instructions. So y'all know what this is right here. Okay. Turbo. Turbocharger from LS. Oh, uh, it got torque specs and everything. So you torque everything down, right? Make sure you install your turbo correctly. Now, got your T6 flange, got a syringe in here. I guess to pump all to um, to prime your turbo and all up your uh, needle bearings and ball bearings or whatever may be inside of this big guy. Yes, Summit Racing T6 Turbo, 75 millimeter turbo. Okay, got that turbo. So I'm going turbo on the LS. My first time doing a turbo motor, first time running a turbo. I think it's gonna be lovely. Part number SUM-260050, Summit Racing Performance Turbo Charger, S475 Turbo with a 75 millimeter wheel. You see it spinning in there. Okay. Um, 500 to 1,050 horsepower, second compression. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't wait to get this installed on my car. Turbocharger, Summit Racing. I've been so excited about getting this turbo for the longest. I've been just waiting on this turbo. Like, y'all understand how important this is to me. I've been wanting a turbo so bad. So this is gonna be my first time running a turbo car. Any kind of turbo application. Um, We'll figure it out as we go. But that's the last thing that I have for today. Unboxing and unveiling of all of my sweet new car products I just bought. So follow me through the bill and see the outcome. Oh, uh, I, I was thinking about getting this powder coated. I don't know if I should, but I think I am. Um, maybe I'll take it through a couple of heat cycles and take them off and get it done. I don't know, but I still need to order myself a waste gate. And I think I might go ahead. I mean, I already bought it. They don't come with no warranty on it. Uh, so, I mean, if I powder coat, I mean, it ain't nothing they can, I mean, I can't warrant it out of them, but so I think I might power the code it. I'm a power code. I am my nigga, my ears on fro, Chris to be covered in gold. Ain't sunny nigga, cause the nigga hoes. So I just go with the flow. Fuck freaky little hoe, got her all on the flow. You know that I'm making it snow. She freaks, she freaks. I stay with the drip on my hips and my toes. She turn on the sound of my clothes. I got my nigga, my ears on fro.
bitch to be covered in gold Ain't stunning these niggas cause these niggas hoes So I just go with the flow Put it freaky little hoe got her all on the flow You know that I'm making the snow She freaking she freaking Drippin' my head to my toes You know this all on my phone Water, water, water I got niggas on the roll at the quarters I'm 21 bitch I can slaughter your daughter Was down to my ass but little baby I'm smarter Was stuck on the bitch now a nigga a starter Roll my niggas like we on the charter Buzz nigga I'm running it up I hit the bitch once now she blowin' me up Bro, can't fold. Niggas got me so I stay on my toes Without on my ass had to give me a load Diamonds dripping on me, nigga, it's cold Shorty nasty so I'm calling her mold Was shot first, now she taking control Bend her over, got her touching the toes Free up gang, yeah, I'm with it for sure Yeah, ball on these niggas like 2-4 I used to chop out the 2-0